When Timothy Harrison walked out of his high school graduation ceremony, it was his Waffle House co-workers who were waiting, cheering for him in the parking lot. But getting Harrison to the ceremony wasn't easy. It was all hands on deck. On the day of his graduation from Woodlawn High School in Alabama, Harrison instead arrived for his 7 a.m. shift. His manager, Cedric Hampton, was shocked and confused. Why are you here? Hampton asked. You're supposed to be graduating today. Harrison's mother was working that day, and he didn't have tickets or a ride to the ceremony. He was also working during the school's graduation rehearsal, where mandatory items like caps and gowns were distributed. I didn't have a way to get there, he said. I didn't have a plan. When Harrison got to work that day, he felt defeated. He just wanted to get through the day and go home. It felt like I can't make up for it, he said. Graduation is not something I can make up another time. Hampton said he knew just by looking at Harrison that he wanted to go. This is once in a lifetime, and he knew it, Hampton said. So, Hampton told Harrison to get his paperwork and call the school to say he'd be there. I said I'd take care of the rest, he said. We were going to make it work, no matter what. With the ceremony at 3 p.m., Harrison's Waffle House co-workers made plans to divide and conquer. One employee drove Harrison to his high school to pick up his cap and gown. The staff and a few customers pulled about $50 to buy Harrison a new outfit, and the restaurant's assistant manager showed up on her day off to buy the new clothes from Target. She came back with grey pants, a light blue dress shirt, a tie and grey shoes. It was a family affair, Hampton said. We were all ready to rally around him to make sure he enjoyed this special day. When Harrison stepped out of the Waffle House bathroom in his new clothes, Hampton called it a surreal moment. He said Harrison wore a gigantic grin across his face, and cheers erupted from the restaurant. His smile lit up the room, Hampton said. You could see how important this was to him. It's something I'll always remember. But there was one last touch. Hampton helped Harrison put on his green and gold cap and gown. It reminded Hampton of when his own father helped him with his ties when he was growing up. I felt like a king putting on his crown, Harrison said. Harrison called the graduation ceremony that afternoon life-changing. It was a next step, he said. It was moving to the future. While Harrison's Waffle House co-workers weren't allowed to attend due to limited seating, they waited in the parking lot outside to congratulate him. They had a mini photo shoot with Harrison to celebrate his accomplishment. After only working at the Waffle House for a little over a month, Harrison now calls his co-workers his work family. He sees Hampton as an older brother and mentor. It's one big family, Hampton said.